Hello everyone, Justin here and today we are going to be painting a water bottle. This one is going to be for Marie, a friend of mine who is also a nurse. So the theme will be of course uh, her being in the medical field. So as usual what I do is I'll take the water bottle. This one is a thermo flask water bottle. I believe it's a 40 ounce size or something like that. And I take a 120 grit sandpaper and rough in all the surfaces first just so the paint can stick better. And I go ahead and mask off the upper section where the lid screws onto in preparation for the final spraying later on. So for her name, I'm just using simple bubble letters. And if you check out my channel, I've got several videos on how to go about doing that. It's very easy. And here I just go ahead and color it in and with just coloring in the the blue for example I can adjust as needed to the right size and shape that I want and then I go ahead and outline it in black and make it three-dimensional by adding a shadow section on the lower right parts of every letter and I just quickly add some uh, quick white highlights um, and I try to make those more or less uniform among all the letters so just a circular part and a couple one or two crescent shapes on either side and just to set it off i'm using a thinner black bosca marker here and just putting in an outline and just like the actual letters themselves i'm adding uh, just a thin shadow line here again they're all in the lower right parts of uh, the shad the outline and this just keeps things uniform and kind of goes along with the way I did the letters so just take your time here um, it's pretty forgiving so here I'm onward to the back part with the design the black squiggly lines signifies vit ventricular fibrillation which is a deadly heart rhythm and the first two parts and then it turns into a regular sinus rhythm which is of course viable with life i went ahead and added a symbolic heart there just very graphic and and i wrote frontline because she's a frontline worker a term that's been very popular since covid first started in 2020 i like to use the hair dryer just to dry the paint much more quickly and I can move on so once all of this was done I went ahead and sprayed the bottle with several coats of Krylon clear coat which seems to be relatively durable and uh, that's it so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoy this video and uh, it motivates you to maybe try it as well it's very easy and gets you a customized bottle without much effort. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. See you next time. Bye.